What type of structure should we be looking at for your small business? Today we'll be looking at companies versus trust. So companies are separate legal entities. So that basically means that the company will pay for its own debts and it can be sued or it can also sue. The cost is roughly around $600 to $1,000. There's normally a director and a shareholder involved and those people can be the same person. So the great thing about companies is that it's a separate legal entity and therefore there's a bit of a protection when it comes to the personal assets of the shareholders. Another great thing about companies is that it's a 27.5% tax rate rather than a progressive tax rate that can go up to 47% for individuals. Another good thing about companies as well is that it's actually investor friendly. Investors or banks actually prefer to deal with uh, companies because companies are not as complex and is actually a preferred uh, vehicle for investment rather than trust sole traders or individuals. Jumping into the disadvantages of a company, the unfortunate thing about companies is that you have to pay a $263 fee that kind of goes up on an annual basis to ASIC. Another disadvantage is that it actually doesn't have the 50% CGT discount, capital gains discount, when you sell the company. So a company itself and its business is actually an asset. So when you decide to sell the business, you're actually selling an asset. And when you do sell an asset, there is capital gains tax involved. When you do sell an asset and you're, it's owned under an individual or a trust, you can still access a 50% discount on that gain. But in terms of having it under a company, you don't actually get that 50% gain. And the last disadvantage about a company is that if it does make losses, those losses are actually retained in the company and carried forward to later years and claimed against the future profits of the business. In terms of discretionary trust, this is another vehicle that small businesses can structure the business with. There's usually a trustee involved. The trustee is the person or corporation that controls the trust and its assets on behalf of its beneficiaries. The trustee is the ultimate person that decides on how much income is going to be distributed and to who. You'll have to pay for a trust setup pay for stamping of the trust, as well as pay for the setup of a corporate trustee, which is basically a company setup as well. Costs can go up from $1,000 all the way to roughly around $2,000 to set up a trust with a corporate trustee. The trustee is liable for the debts of the business. So that's why we normally set up a company to become the trustee. So the advantages of setting up a business in a trust is that Yes, you still get the limited liability, means that the personal assets of the beneficiaries are still protected, as long as you have a corporate trustee involved. Another great thing about that is that you can actually access the small business concessions as well as a 50% discount on those capital gains tax that you weren't able to get when you were having a company. Which basically means that if you end up deciding to sell the business, you can get a 50% discount on the gain and as a result pay less tax because of the sale of the business. The great thing about um, trust as well is that you can distribute your income to multiple beneficiaries or under the control of the trust and the discretion of the trustee. You can utilize different tax rates. So you could have four beneficiaries or on different tax rates and you can distribute the income to effectively plan and minimize the most tax over the whole group rather than paying 27.5% flat tax rate where some individuals might have a lower tax rate than 27.5%. So it's better to distribute that money to those people and get a lower tax overall. Let's jump into the disadvantages of a trust. A trust is not a separate legal entity and as a result, the trust doesn't pay the tax on behalf of the business profits. The beneficiaries are the ones that pay the tax on the profits. Another thing you need to look at is that Trusts aren't actually investor friendly. The banks are actually find that trusts are quite complex. It's just that it's a bit more difficult to get funding from banks and investors. And with a trust, it's a bit more expensive. It costs them probably a double the amount that a normal company would cost. And the last thing that we need to talk about with trusts is that the losses in the business are retained in the trust as well. So therefore, if you make a loss in the trust, you can't actually distribute that loss to the beneficiaries and let the beneficiaries claim those losses against their income. Losses get carried forward and it will be offset against future profits made by the business and the trust. 
So there are basically advantages and disadvantages for a company and advantages and disadvantages for a trust. So really what you need to do is actually speak to an accountant or a lawyer and get them to give you the best advice for your current situation. So what we do at our practice is that we help our clients set up a hybrid structure and as a result we can take advantage of both pros of each structure whether it's a company or a trust.